the new Nordic support is showing to be incredibly overpowered. So, next up we're going to see if we can fight the Egyptian god known as Ra against uh, Nordics. Didn't feel like bringing all the Egyptian gods at once, because one, that could be a future video, and two, I honestly don't know which is better, so let's, we'll start small and see what happens. Zylo, Zylo said that his, uh, it, the god, the Egyptian god Ra deck was stronger, so I said, really you know what? It might just be stronger, so. Ooh, that's an inconsistency. What we can do for a week? I, I really want, I really want, uh, there to be a, uh, a support for all three gods to be on the field, kind of like how the Sacred Beasts have one. <laughs> What was it? Not so bad. They had a uh, if all three are if all three sacred beasts were on the field, the that trap card just negates all my card effects. <laughs> so, oops, didn't mean to put that in attack mode, but it doesn't particularly matter. It totally matters. Um, and we end the turn. So still got the slime, which is one of the slower uh, options in here, but still. All right, now let me see. Oh man, I'm terrified of that trap now. <laughs> Cause that, could, that could legitimately slow you down right now, couldn't it? <laughs> I mean, hey, just think about it. Use it on a, a raw. Zero attack points. Yep. Oh, oh I was gonna say, you could, you, could you, could you get rid of this cat? No, I can't you... get rid of the cute little kitten. You crazy? Come on, Are kitten. you allergic First though? slime token. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> Just looking at it is making your no, eyes you water. You get rid of it. Thank you. My, it's making your eyes water. <laughs> okay, no, and not because it's adorable. It's so cute! Out comes two level threes, one being a tuna. Mm hmm. Activate. Very nice. Let's set you get... up for success. Oh, not... No, not that Smith. <laughs> I could, but you know what? I'm gonna see how far I can get without relying on that trap card. All right. Because I know it's an instant win if I get it. No, it's not necessarily true. We can, we can work with that. We can figure out what we can find a way. <laughs> so we'll hold off on that for now. But don't forget, Silo. <laughs> I have that in the chamber whenever I'm ready for You're it. You're only saying that because you know you have another Evaldi in hand and you can search it next turn or whenever you want. No. <laughs> Stop reading my mind, okay? <laughs> I know you well, and I'm generally good at reading people, so there wasn't a chance I wasn't picking up on that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> How long have I known you by now? <laughs> Too, Too long. long. <laughs> How long have we been doing this channel for? <laughs> Too long. <laughs> Shutting it down if I lose this duel. Oh yeah, effects get negated, that, so that really hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, thanks to Thor. Good old Thor. Yep. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, activate, oh, hold on. Yep, active, hold on. Active, I think I, think I had, oh, darn it. Okay, so I may have uh, been clicked in a no thing when I shouldn't have been. Whoops. It's fine. We got plenty of ways to rock here. Um, ways to beat Thor? Less ways. Um, but let's see what we can do here. First, we are going to... Oh, man, that might actually be good. Let's see. Yeah, because that would be nice. Hmm. This card doesn't... Yeah, we might just do that. Well, first of all, Millennium Revelation. Card I always have to consider taking out of the deck. Um, but if I can use it for this... Alright, let's see if I can do this. Is it the best time to use it right now? Not really, but I can send my um, Immortal Phoenix to the graveyard for free, which is nice. And then, special summon raw from your graveyard with Monster Reborn. Yeah, so we don't have that, but we can get a free Monster Reborn, which does set us up for other things. But instead, we're going to go for a, a nice, weird, normal summon of Guardian Slime. Should I do that? Probably not. That's, that's a dumb move. Um, cause what do I get when I, I think I get something good when I do that, so, let's just do that. Cool. Guardian Slime comes out, meant to have him out, you know. Okay. When you attacked me, but, 
We'll do that, and I think his effect will still go off. If not, I'll be sad. Okay, it does still go off, and I think that'll let me search Ra, which I am in desperate need of right now, because I need the Ancient be, Charm. Imagine Thor was a quick play effect to negate all monster effects on the field. <laughs> it would be considerably better, but hey, you have a trap card that does that now, so... Yeah, maybe that was the reason why. It was like, hey, it makes you... a little sense out of it, at the very least. Imagine one day you decide to just errata all the, go the Nordic gods to have better effects. We have a minor issue here, though. I really Oh? Should. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can still normal summon? Oh, okay. oh yeah, because Ancient Chain lets me do another normal summon. I remember how to play this deck. Haha. -ha. And then you, of course, got that scary, scary card right there. Um, I can't really just do nothing against you, because then Thor's going to use his effect on me, and I die. So, what we're going to do is, yeah, we'll just go full force and then run straight head first into whatever you have. That sounds fine. Um, boop, boop, boop. Activate Ancient Chant just to get a little attack boost. All right. And I completely forget how that trap works that you have, I'm going to be honest. And we'll normal summon that. Ooh, ah. Activate Wing Dragon of Ra. Yeah, unfortunately I have to. Woo. And then with that we can activate... We really shouldn't do that. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Or could I big brain and actually do this? It's medium brain, but I'm really curious if I can actually get Millennium Revelation to work for once in my life. Oh, wait. What? No, okay, I guess it didn't work. I had one monster reborn from that time that you know, Hmm. Because I can get my life points back right now. Huh. Let's see, let's hit cancel first. Okay, so I can use Revelation. Wait, I haven't used Revelation yet? Thought I did. Okay. I'll search Monster Reborn. Toss that to the graveyard. Thought I had used it. So that'll help dictate if I really want to do this move or not. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so. I think we're gonna attack. And then we're gonna try some cheese and see what happens. Yeah. This'll be fine. Um, what's the other activation of this? Pfft, I don't know. Uh, battle. When well, we got all this juicy, juicy attack, and you have a thing that I know boosts your attack considerably well, on the field. Question. So, question, Zell. Mm hmm. You kill this. You don't kill me, right? No. You, and you. Do you get back your life points after this? Maybe. Do you? Let's see what I can do. So, you're definitely just switching that, so yeah, we're absolutely going to use this now. What does that do? I uh, get the life points back. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Yeah. Now this gets to come out. Nice combo. I think that's the first time I've actually done that. Yeah. With a nice sun god combo like that. And then we'll try attacking right here. With some life points back. Rather nice. Yeah. This doubles my attack points. Mm -hmm. Not close to your full powered raw, that being said. Yup. Let's see. There that goes. I'll use that. Um, but now. It's confirmed, guys. Thor is stronger than, than the Winged Dragon or Raw. <laughs> <laughs> With a Megan Yard, perhaps. Let's see. So, do I need to activate this to make it work? Maybe. We're about to find out. So you send that away, Monster Reborn, on the Winged Dragon of Ra. Ah. <laughs> what? He doesn't have any attack points. Hmm. Ah, this'll be fun. Alright, so we are going to... Oh, he doesn't get to activate his effect. Oh, no, it is. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to use that effect, but sure. <laughs> what did you do then? Oh, you destroyed, okay. Yeah, okay. Now, do we have any desperate plays in here? Yikes. Because you know he comes back next turn. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And this boy's just chilling out here in attack mode. Alright, well, here's what we're. Oh, I probably should really wait to do that. Hmm. 
because that still gets wrecked. And then I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. Hmm. Any ideas on what you're going to do? Let me see. Does Winged Dragon of Rod <laughs> Immortal Phoenix say I can only do it once a turn? That's the question here. Because I could use my effect, pay life points, and destroy myself. Let's see. I cannot be summoned if the Winged Dragon of Rod is sent from your field to your graveyard. While this is in your graveyard, special summon it, right? This card is unaffected, right? Um, once per turn at the end phase, send this card to the graveyard if you do summon the Winged Dragon of Rod. Yeah. We're gonna try it because <laughs> I don't. It's it's looking bad for us regardless. Because it's a basically a, a direct attack if I attack that wing dragon raw. Uh, I guess I could have just used this. But... Uh, what? <laughs> didn't didn't know I was doing that. But okay, so it does get to come out. That being said, it's not. You're like at a hundred life points. Yeah, it's not like. That's great. What? I oh, didn't know that burned me. Well, I lose. <laughs> um, sure, we'll just activate it because we already just lose off activation. So, boom. Ha ha ha! Sphere mode! Ooh. And yeah, finish it. Yep. Comes right back. Um, it's funny in the recent videos, the Thor is like returning. Power just kills you. Yeah, it was funny. Well, I mean, especially with this deck, you play on the line. So the, yeah. I didn't think about this being an exceedingly good matchup for you here, but I'll try to be careful about that. If I had the luxury, I could have just not activated my effect there and had the luxury. But come on! <laughs> Alright, and I guess we'll just set all of our cards and activate. Give me some slimes. Lovely, and much like last time, end my turn there, and then see how you go. Man, yeah, as consistent as our ride is, it's just not as consistent as you, plus all your new stuff. All right, now let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna normal summon my Golem Bursty. Okay. Golem Bursty allows me to special summon yep, yep, yep. additional monster, like my Elvis. Sounds good. Hello, Elvis. You know the funny the thing is? <laughs> what? He, um, he actually does not prevent me from using other cards in a deck, actually. Nice. You know what? I'm going to play a little bit for fun right now. Sure. Experiment around. So I'm going to go straight into my Black Rose Dragon. What? Black Rose Dragon duped the field. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> there goes our place. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 when you saw that black little dragon hit the field. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, but it was too good not to nice. do it. <laughs> That was brutal. Uh, uh, that's good. <laughs> it, it was a little bit of payback for the Dark Magician video sure. a little previously before. <laughs> it's and it's totally I didn't set up that video myself. No, so I shouldn't have myself <laughs> to blame. <laughs> There's that, and um, we're gonna see what card can come out and save us. I don't know. I really don't know. These three. Yeah, I don't know what card can save us now. Not the clear skill. Alright, you can target one Nordic. What is the second effect? You can target one, uh. You can target one Nordic monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Okay, I'll do that real quick. Open. Um, let's add the gold facts back. Cool. Good to see. Works well with the card you just switched. Mm-hmm. And I guess I'm just gonna attack. I uh, I meant to grab the, one of the goats instead of the Alvis. And oh, so yeah, it's a mismatch there's number. A chance. You have a right, chance. Exchanging yes. souls, exchanging souls. Let's go. Uh, well, close. That and that and. 
Let's see. What levels do we want? That doesn't matter. Here you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy your new friend. I can link them off, though, is the funny thing. Ah. Oh, I have a better idea, actually. Ooh. So, do that. Bring out another Golveg. Activate Golveg. Okay. Use it as a material. Sure. And then use the two cards in the hand. This time, let's do it proper. Use you. You and you. This should be prop. This is what I meant to do right here. Yeah. Bring up these. And even when he just gets brought out like that, he gets the effect off. Is so good. Yeah, I love how Golveg does not negate their effects when they're on the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fact that you can get those two new ones out with that is incredible. The synergy that they made with this, mm -hmm. honestly. So that's a recovery, you know a search, and a boss monster all in, with just the activation of Golveg. You know, I'm gonna feel a little tricky. Let's bring out Loki instead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you already got rid of all my back row, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's no traps from the negate. Yeah. I don't see myself getting out of this, but... We'll see. Not the answer, but we'll use it anyway out of desperation. I just immediately went to Black Rose Dragon and then thought, wait, it don't work like that. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that uh, actually, there is a play I can do here. Okay. Um, burp, and burp. when that worked anyway, uh, Golveg protects the, the gods from card effects while the gods protect Golveg from pe from attacks. Mm -hmm. so, oh, you know, that's an, that's an area explosion, so it would have gone around that, actually. Yep, you're certainly but right. You couldn't, but you couldn't target Loki. Yep. So we'll do that, bring out? that, and that, and... Aww. <laughs> this is so sad. You don't have enough attack points. <laughs> Even for Loki. <laughs> the weakest one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The fact that I didn't even have to use the Nordic Relic to do this either. I know, I'm just having a bad time. <laughs> I know you're hovering over that surrender button right now, Xylo. Oh, no. Hmm. Is there any world where I can beat this matchup? Or don't find out. Rematch! So do you yeah. think the other versions would, would be doing better? Like if you have Obelisk or yeah, something? Yeah, I just Slifer... thought, I did think about it. The Slifer is going to be sick against you. Slifer would be, honestly. But if yeah, I bring up... I don't up... care what his attack is. You need monsters to get your plays moving. Oh, wait. You want to go first or second? I meant to ask. Okay. I meant second, but... Oh, wait. You, you give me first three times in a row? This guy. Here, I'll surrender and let you go. No, it's fine. We'll just play it. Um, I thought with this deck you prefer going first anyway to set up like the the reactions anyway. Yeah, to set up things that make me lose health. Yeah, yeah totally. So wait, so wait. Hmm, I'm trying not to think. I'm actually legitimately trying to think of it, but I think the only way you could win is if you do the ultimate god thing to do. Bring out all three god cards. <laughs> and then just tribute them all for the Exodia No, win. then you just flip out your guy and negate the effect of it. <laughs> I can't negate the, the instant win condition. <laughs> Do you know? Should we test that? Uh, it might be in, in the case for the next video. Alright, so these guys are just chilling out here. I know I can't negate the one in the hand, uh, Exodia, because that's in the hand. And, this, and that card <laughs> only affects, like, the field. With how easy it is to search for the, uh, for, with how easy it is to search for the, uh, the trap card, it might legitimately be good to only run two, one or two of them, actually. Because I can, Maybe. I can get that shield right now. And just, uh, and mm -hmm. be able to negate all your cards. I'm just thinking, is there any time where you, like, you would be upset to have it in your hand? No, honestly, it's good to have turn one. 
Yeah, so why not have three? <laughs> then you can just use your search for something else, utility-wise. True. And plus, there's always a chance that your opponent just MSTs or gets rid of it. Mm -hmm. Although, I guess you need to have one of your big ones out, so if you're struggling with the deck balance of actually getting your guy out, then it's reasonable. But, I mean, you just summon your, you know, your one thing, and then you can use it for material if you need it to. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Righty. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Not letting me bring out Goveg for once. Oh. Is it because of um, Alvis right. or something? No, 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 no. The uh, the chair. I think oh, yeah, it's like... you only do the Azure monsters. That's right. Yep. Right. Can I bring... You cannot bring out extra deck monsters except Azure. And I keep forgetting, Goveg is still technically a Nordic, not yep. an Azure. Yeah, you which you would think coming... Yeah, which you would think that with uh, with the inclusion of it in the extra deck, that they would have made it like the Nordic Asia Ascendant or something. No, sir. Because uh, Govek is technically among the gods, so... Although, I think it's supposed to represent the Valkyries. Makes sense. Okay. Um, oh. I'm not going... Uh, if I attack the tokens, <laughs> I know nothing goes off, so... Right? Um, I have no idea. I think it's only when I attack the reactor slime that it goes off. Yeah, I think you're right. So if I just limit your tokens at least. Although, I think you immediately get them back next turn, don't you? Maybe. Or I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I should have just waited to get it back next turn. But this reactor metal reflect slime works just as well. Or it does. Oh, but it just... Okay, well, since you activated that, I guess I'll just <laughs> yeah, ram enjoy, into you. For enjoy 300. the 300. Thanks, I buddy. mean, against your raw, actually, that might actually mean. True, it does mean something. And what it means is. Oh. Can I do this now? Eh? Uh, can I do this now? No? Eh? How about now? Yo, when can I Guardian Slime? <laughs> I just took battle damage, man. Whatever. Why did it go off, actually? No. <laughs> okay. Was well. it because you activated Reactor Slime, maybe? No. I don't believe so. Oh, wait. Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> you got normal special summon monsters except Divine Beast monsters. Okay. So it's exactly what it was, but, you know, you don't have to point it out. You um, point it out to me all the time, though. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. What so... happened? What ha is it because... What happened this duel? How did we get so flipped? <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the field. And I'm all gonna get. Let's see. Yep, Egyptian God Slime. And then we can just normal summon Ra, which sounds fantastic. Hmm, but. Let's see, does this do anything fancy, fancy? No. So I wouldn't be able to do anything like that. Hmm. We're still not in a fantastic position. Do I go crazy and just leave this boy on the field? I think I may. Because if I attack you, I can only hurt you for, you know, 7,300 or whatever the real number is. But I want more. So, hmm. but if I do that, that could set me up very nicely. But I also would never want to leave you with material on the field. So, yeah, we're going to play a weird patient game here. And, yep. Use your three monsters. Get rid of them all. So we have a sphere mode. And at least your field's clear. And I'll set another quad, and I'll end my turn. Alright. Oh, thank you, deck. No thank you, deck. <laughs> this what I needed. Right, where's my, uh, where's my exchanging souls card? <laughs> Ew, Rescue cat. That's not ideal. Rescue care. If this came out in today's day, the rescue care, mm -hmm. they would ha it would have some kind of limiter saying that you cannot use the extra deck or you cannot uh, 
or you or you can only extra attack once per turn. Probably. I guess like the specifically lower beast monsters is kind of what makes it, you know, more reasonable. There's not too many decks that can abuse it. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's going well for you. Then, now I finally do use my Golveg. Yep. Golveg. Yep. Activate. Sounds good. Sending away your sphere mode, the goat, and one of my cards in the hand. Yep, did not anticipate keeping that. It's more of just to slow you down, because I know either way, this next turn you're putting out something big. So. Mm-hmm. And if I put a Ra on the field, then I get reduced to zero. If I have an Egyptian God Slime, I keep 3,000. Alright, I three. I bring out the original three. Very nice. Put these two cards down before I forget. Oh boy. So we might lose this duel. Not because of what he's about to summon, because of those two cards. <laughs> what do you think those two cards are, Zylo? I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's either enough to overwhelm my power when I have 100 life points left, or it's enough to have my effect cancelled. So... Gonna activate that. So it's bad it. news, whatever it is. And just in case you clear my field somehow, I'm gonna add my Valkyrie to the hand. Okay. Huh. That's a shame. Activate that so I negate your effects. Oh, I don't know. that actually is a mess. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Because now I can destroy it by battle. <laughs> yep. Alright, but there is one good thing that comes out of this. Go. Please don't be too Please don't be too Okay, thank goodness. Oh, yeah? I'm sure my Golvig can destroy it. Oh, totally. Yep, that's how that card works. It's not like it gains defense points equal to my attack points. <laughs> what? What? Oh. Huh. What, what, I, what happened there? I have no, not a clue. Did you not gain attack defense points equal to the I did. What? Well, um, that was all just me <laughs> setting it up for uh, your your doom, Mario. Yes, yes, of course. Did it not give you the option? I was just planning on that, so I could in in fact get myself uh, an ancient chant that I don't need. Okay. Guardian Slime, why you fail me so many times today, man? <laughs> it, oh my gosh. It, it's not like anything was negating it either. I activated Thor after, before it got... That's what I thought. Out. I thought I'd be fine. What happened? I don't know, man. I guess I must have just misclicked, but... Huh. It is what it is. You go be like, it's Mario Appreciation Day. Don't let Xylo play. <laughs> Both terrible cards. Okay, let's see. You, you were hoping you were getting rid of the shield, weren't you? Once again, they both beat me anyway. All of your traps beat me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you not run the field spell in here, by the way? I do. Does not have drawn it? <laughs> Does it look like Lux on my side with this duel? With this match? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Alright, so I can then send that away. So then, we're in good shape. Because then I can Monarch Stormforth. Great. And that one doesn't target you, so I can use your Thor. But I don't have any monsters, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I could slowly heal the, hear this heartbreak in that. <laughs> I mean, it was broken long before that. I was just saying it for the viewer's pleasure. Because I knew I couldn't do anything with it. Then I have, like, Dark Spell Regeneration on the field right now. Which, you know, isn't the best of cards, but it's thematic to the deck and it's fun. Um, yeah. It only works if you have a spell in your graveyard. And you don't, so. I banished my spell card, actually. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just realized how little spell cards I actually play in this deck. It yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I think this matchup is always doomed to fail. <laughs> 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 I 
Sometimes it's just one of those days on the Yu-Gi-Oh field, you know? Oh, Sometimes you it's just one of those days. You want to know what I just drew to? The, the... the shield. Yeah. <laughs> you just drew the shield. Oh, you know what? Who do you want to kill you, Goldfeg or Thor? <laughs> Look, that was a mistake, because if you attack me and I happen to have drawn another Guardian Slime, then I could put that out on the field and perfectly defend myself. Are you sure Guardian Slime would have worked properly? <laughs> Yes, yes I am. Go Vic, stab him. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Alright, oh. well. That was something. That was brutal. Uh, honestly, this new support just makes them good. Mm-hmm. I guess next up, at some point, we're going to have to fight the, uh, the full Egyptian god thing. But honestly, like, the Sacred Beasts deck was still better than the Egyptian god deck ever was. And you crushed it, so I don't know what to think now. Just, I don't know. If, we're, we'll, we'll see what happens, but... There's, like, a chance that Nordics could touch meta with that card. They could. Even if they... I, what I could see happening is... In a random synchro deck, someone could be running it, bring out Thor, putting that combo in, and be done. And just play around with other cards. Yeah, because literally you just get a Gullveg out and everything else you have is just material. And by doing that, you get yourself the, uh, you know, the search for it. So you can just probably pack hand traps and that mixed in. So if, you you know, your opponent's making a move, okay, I'll spend it to uh, get rid of that. And then if you're making a move, all right, I'll use my Effect Veiler as a card to, uh, you know, toss away to the graveyard. So it's just all good options, really. But it really is. And that's why I'm arguing that they might be top of the god card chain now. It's certainly possible. And uh, with thrashing that, what I thought was the best at the time, um, indeed, then yeah, maybe so. But, you know, for good measure, we'll run through the gambit and see if anything sticks out against it. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, then make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe so you don't miss anything else. And we'll see you next time. See you, folks.